Hello everyone. Uh, today's video uh, is just a, me just wanting to cover a, a few things. So I've noticed recently I've uh, I've had a lot lot of new uh, subscribers over the uh, last uh, couple of months, which is good to see. And uh, I'm getting a lot of kind messages from people um, saying that they're beginners and they're really enjoying my tutorials, and it's it's really encouraging. So obviously, my uh, I feel the demographic of subscribers that are, uh, are watching my video. Uh, a newcomers to Photoshop, and uh, you know, a few people have expressed that they're uh, they're a little bit lost with the program, and it's understandable because it's it is quite complicated when you when you first learn it, and you're not quite sure uh, what's going on or what's happening. So, what I've done is I've thought about it, and I've been thinking about doing this video for a while now. Uh, it's just three things that I think uh, that you should be that you should learn first in Photoshop. Now, it depends what you want to use Photoshop for. If you want to use it for photo editing, then these are probably not the three things that you want to be potentially uh, learning first. But because you're subscribed to my channel and you watch my videos, uh, it's, you probably want to do some sort of edit or manipulation uh, and just have a little play around on Photoshop, which I enjoy doing. So a little bit about myself. I've, I've used Photoshop since CS2 and I never really knew what I was doing on it. This was long before there was any sort of YouTube or source materials, uh, and I kind of just self-taught myself, and my early stuff wasn't very good, and then um, I managed to get, I think, CS4, CS5, I had CS6 for a long time, uh, and now it's it's evolved and it's adapted, and it's really good. So the first thing I, I think that um, people should learn is the layers, uh, layers sort of, not a tool sort of sketch, but how layers work in Photoshop. Uh, it can be found on this tab here, and if you don't see layers, uh, or if you go to a window and you scroll down, uh, you should see layers, and if you click that, it will then become visible. Now how layers work is, is when an object stacks on top of one another, so imagine looking in a side view, you should be able to see a layer. So I've, I've got this uh, match day image that I made last year for um, a competition for Liverpool Football Club, uh, where they would you make a match day image and you put it on social media and if it was any good they would use it and they use this on the Instagram stories which was really nice to see. Um, and as you can see here, I've got a num number of layers. Now all this means is things are on top of each other. So if I take Bobby Firmino there for press command T, you'll notice because he's above Mohamed Salah there, if I drag him over, he covers him over because he's on top of him. That's pretty much the only way I can really explain it. It's, it's it's just as simple as that. It's something on top of each other. Now, layers can interact in different ways um, through blend modes. And again, I'm not going to go and give a tutorial now on layers. But what I was going to YouTube and just search Photoshop layers. I just searched there, and there's absolutely there's hundreds, if not thousands, of, uh, of Photoshop tutorials. And there's some great resources out there. And there's some great channels uh, to learn layers. So that would be my first recommendation to learn layers. The next one would be the pen tool. So if I hit P on my keyboard, it'll take me to the pen tool, which can be located here on your on your tools window. Uh, and if you hold it, you can see there's, there's quite a lot more uh, to learn from the pen tool. Uh, it, it is difficult to understand at first. It, it did take me a while uh, to learn and understand the pen tool. Now, when you're cutting things out uh, from pictures, it does give a nice, crisp, clean finish. And uh, if you go onto my videos and, and you scroll back and you'll I think there's a speed art I did of Steven Gerrard. You, you see, I, I didn't use the the pen tool to cut him out. I used a, a mask, which I'm going to come on to in a minute. Um, but the pen tool just gives it a lot more crisper feel. And it, again, if you do follow my tutorials and you and you see how I make them, you'll you'll see um, I get most of my PNG files from 40renders.com, and uh, they you can tell they're cut out by the pen tool. Someone's taken the time to do it. It's, it is time consuming, but it's. Uh, it's really good and it's, it's a real good skill to master in Photoshop. Even um, it's a transferable skill to use in Illustrator. So I didn't really fully understand the pen tool until I was doing some tutorial from YouTube on the pen tool. And then I transferred that skill over to Photoshop. And that's when I was confident enough to use. And so again, go onto YouTube. I'll, I'll put a link in for two really good videos that um, I found uh, that I used for the pen tool uh, down below. And of all, there's also this game, or I say a game, it's just an interactive uh, game to help you learn the pen tool. And you just click, and it's just simple, follow along until you get the hang of it and complete it. Then you go to the next one. So then now, you 
pull out and yeah you get you get the idea I'm I'm, uh, I'm just playing just playing with it at the minute uh, but yeah you see so it's, a, it's an interactive game uh, for you to, uh, to to play around uh, and learn the pen tool it's it's really good once you get the hang of it it's quite addictive and then you can take it in uh, and it's again like I just said transferable skill to use on uh, illustrator so uh, and again, okay. And the third and final skill that I, I think is really worth learning uh, is uh, making selections and masks. So, like, um, like I just mentioned about making your selection with a pen tool, um, is is masking here. I don't know if I've got it on. No, I've not I've not masked these ones. But um, masking is simply just being non non destructible. Um, been non-destructive so rather than erasing the pixels around it you can mask them uh, and again you see on my other tutorials how, how I use masking uh, it's a real good skill to master in Photoshop and you can learn and this is just applicable from just simple edits um, simple designs just maybe just getting rid of something on a photo to the actual when you see some really incredible fantasy manipulation Photoshop digital art it's, it's using the, using the masks so again mask can be found uh, down here this layer mask this icon here okay and it just uh, it works non-destructively so if I was to go over to here say Bobbin I'll, I'll mask him there okay I'll make sure I've got black selected hit the uh, the B for the brush tool okay and if I was to mask now and just paint across you see how he disappears okay that's non-destructive. That's not me deleting the pixels. That's just me hiding them. So in this little frame here, if I just disable the layer mask, the pixels come back, and it's non-destructive, and and that's how it that works. Again, I cover this quite uh, extensively in some of my uh, tutorials. So go ahead and uh, check those out. And uh, just as an extra bonus one, just while I'm thinking on as well, um, smart objects as well. So a smart object is something that you can go back and edit. Don't think I've got any down in here. So, uh, how a smart object would work? Uh, let's find no money. Anyone will do. Um, yeah. So a, a smart object is if you're. Um, it's basically so you can go back, go back and edit it. Edit it. So in fact, I'll, I'll do a good one. This is. Uh, example would be good for so see smart filters and I've, I've added noise uh, onto this if I didn't have a um, smart object once I'd applied the noise I then wouldn't be able to take the noise off without deleting the layer so it just allows you to go back just there and edit it and uh, add in some noise and grain so yeah that's uh, they're just my uh, top tips uh, for things that you should you should be learning first uh, so I hope you just uh, enjoyed that and uh, if you did, leave a uh, comment and uh, hit like and subscribe. I'm by no means a professional uh, in this field. And again, other people have different opinions, but that's just um, three things, three or four things that I would I would recommend learning first. And uh, I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy learning Photoshop and you produce some good some good work. So thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.